What's up everybody? It is another cold and rainy windy day. So I thought it would be fun to come check out another dead mall. So I drove all the way out here to Massapequa, Long Island to check out a mall called the Sunrise Mall. Now this mall, the owner has ordered all the tenants to vacate. So it will be closing down sometime this year and being redeveloped into something else. So today we're gonna check out the Sunrise Mall for the first time and for the last time. So come with me. So this is pretty wild. Somebody came and actually smashed one of these screens. So it looks like there's been some hooliganism going on at this mall. It's all here, except that it's not. Looks like we got a lot of stores already closed up here. And there's still some places open and it looks like it's all smaller non-national chains and there are quite a lot of people shopping i really like the sign on this storefront got a really nice glass elevator here and lovely skylights very pretty mall let's get one last look at it here we have a hot topic with the old style doors these things are really cool looking Looks like they didn't fully clean that out yet. There's always something really bizarre about the way that they put all these mannequins together like that, you know? It's just really strange, but I like it. Here we have things remembered, and pretty soon this whole mall will just be a thing remembered. So right here we have the closed Sparrow Pizza. And we can see it used to have a buffet in it. Check that out. You don't see too many of these with a buffet in it anymore. And now that this one's closed, I don't think there'll be too many more left. So now this store must have been a finish line or a foot locker. And it's got that great checkered tile. And inside here, you can see what used to be a giant basketball hoop. Isn't that cool? I miss when stores, you know, really went all out with a decor like this. Now they're a little more minimalist. Right here we have what used to be the Sears. Let's go see if we can see anything inside of here. Now this closed down a couple years before the mall announced it was closing. It's completely empty inside there. Ellen, look at those escalators. Check that out. Let's take a little, another look into the Sears from the ground floor. I know it might be hard to see, but off in that corner, you can still see some, uh, it's the Sears sign from outside actually, just stacked up. I'm gonna zoom in on that. Look at that. There's the Sears sign right there. This mall has really great 90s style floor tile. We have like embellishments like this sunburst right here. Really pretty stuff. So there's still quite a few people walking around here today. Maybe because it's a rainy day, but this mall still actually looks pretty busy. I just cannot get over this tile here. How great is that? 
I think this mall was last remodeled in 1992, and it shows. Now this is really incredible. Just look at this Macy's. Look at that old style logo. That is something I have never seen in a mall. I didn't know any of these were left. That's really something, and it's a real shame that it's not gonna be here any longer. We have this wall. It says Wall of Fame on it. And it looks like it has some albums that uh, came out a couple years back. So I don't know if these were people who performed here. Um, I don't know, I'd have to look into that. But it looks like these were, you know, stuff circa, like, uh, what, like 2012, all these artists were popular. Kind of strange. We have this closed store, which looks like it has a lot of debris on the ground. Looks like old tags from clothing or something there. Now let's get a close look into this one. Look at all that track lighting. Pretty cool. And here we have another one of these screens that's been smashed. Those darn hooligans. This side's okay. So we had a video game store here, and it looks like I missed it. Too bad. But that must have been cool. I wonder if they've relocated. And over here we have a candy store. Got a pretty cool sign right there. All right, let's take a peek in the closed JCPenney. Still a lot of cool stuff in there. Let's get a look inside this dollar store. It looks pretty cool. Just look at the carpet on this place. Isn't that great? And just look at all this stuff. If you look at the design in this store, you can see that this must have been some other type of mall store that was repurposed as a dollar store. And it just has great looking decor in it. If you happen to know what this used to be, please let me know. Because this is awesome looking. And there's even this little stage right here. So this must have been some kind of other store, but it's really cool. And again, if you happen to know, please let me know. What a cool place to find. This has really made this whole mall trip worth it, if I'm being honest. So now one thing that this mall is known for, which is a unique feature of this mall, is that they have a koi pond here in the mall. Just, just look at these beautiful fish. Wow. They are enormous. Look at that one down there. Look at how enormous he is. Wow. I hope when that they close this mall that they can rehome these fish. Because they are beautiful. And I hope, hope they get well taken care of.
So I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for the Sunrise Mall. Strange case of a mall being put out of its misery before it can die on its own. Um, you know, it seemed like it was really busy and it was in decent shape. I feel like if they wanted to, they could have made this mall viable, but the company that owns it is going to take it in a different direction. What they're going to do, um, we still don't know, but this will not be a mall as we know it any longer. So I'm glad I was able to get a chance to see it before it shut down. My name is Ray, and I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching.